I just got back from the pet store and I loved everything and the kittens were so cute and they're actually rescue kittens and so I hope they find a good home soon and someone adopts them. But just like Haley in Glendale got some things for her friend, I decided to get some things for my sister's dog because she has a new dog and I thought she would enjoy some little goodies for him. So I got some things and we're going to see what I got. So the first thing I got is this loofah. It's called a loofah toy and it's very long and it's kind of like a really nice material. I guess the dogs would enjoy chewing on it. And also it has a little squeaker right there. Um, dogs love squeakers in toys because it just kind of makes them want to keep playing with it once they hear that squeaky noise. And I just think it's so cute. It says BFF on it and my sister and her dog are like BFF so I think it's super cute. Or maybe her dog has a BFF that we don't know about. He can give this to him but he probably won't because he wants it all for himself. Okay, and I also got another toy for her dog, and I've got to say this toy is actually bigger than her dog, so maybe he can play with it when he gets a little bit older, but it is the Kong Tugger Knot, and it just has like this rope that's actually all the way in the monkey, so it kind of gives them like this realistic feel when they're like biting on it, and also the material is super thick, which I think is awesome because like I know sometimes dogs when they have toys, they like rip up the material and all the stuffing and everything comes out of it, so the fact that this is so thick, it's going to be pretty difficult for her dog to like make any tears or holes in it, which is great. Plus, it's just a cool little monkey, so I'm sure her dog will enjoy this. Okay, and then I got her dog these little bone treats because dogs that are very small, like puppies, tend to have dental problems. So I thought that these would be great because they're supposed to remove plaque and they're supposed to just kind of help with the dog's teeth. And also when your dog is teething, these are great also. And they are just original chicken flavor. Chicken flavor, that's awesome. So hopefully her dog likes chicken because otherwise this was a bad buy, but I'm hoping that he likes chicken. And all the food at the pet store was like very organic and didn't have any byproducts, so this is a very healthy product for her dog as well, which I think is awesome. Okay, and then I got her dog this adorable collar because even though he is a boy, my sister loves bling and she loves glitter and sparkles and crystals, so I thought that she would love this for him. And I made sure not to get pink. As much as I wanted to get the pink one, I got the silver one because I feel like it's still a little bit manly, right? So it's just a nice small little collar and I think it's super cute because it has some little crystals and it's just like a metallic silver. So it's a very cute collar and this was $25, so I'm really hoping hoping that she loves this. So since he is so small, he may not be able to fit his mouth around this, but it's not just like a very hard tennis ball. It actually squeaks, so it's like a little bit hollow inside, which I think is great. And he can just like roll it around because he likes to roll around balls also. He doesn't always like just grab them in his mouth because he really can't do that right now. But he can just like play with it and like roll it around and he likes squeaky things. Okay, and this item I have to say I am most excited about, and I got him this little tuxedo dog shirt because obviously you don't want to put an actual like tuxedo on your dog because he'd get really hot and he'd probably like rip it off because dogs get very picky about what they wear. So I thought that this would be perfect because it's just a cute little lightweight shirt and I just thought it was so adorable. I was going to get the Spongebob one, but then I saw the tuxedo and I was like, yes, her dog is such a stud and he's going to look amazing in this tuxedo top. Okay, and the last thing that I got for her dog is in this little bag right here, and that is a dog cookie. So at the pet store, they actually had all of these um, cookies that are made specially for pets, and they actually use like natural ingredients and things that humans can eat as well. So I'm very tempted to eat this, but I feel like I shouldn't because then I'm going to eat it all and her dog can't eat it, but it's just like a little beach ball. It actually smells really good. I want to eat it, but I feel like it's just so wrong. It kind of smells like oatmeal. I don't know, but it looks very colorful and I'm hoping that he is gonna love this and it's gonna be super yummy for him. I think just for you guys, I'm gonna take a little bite out of it. I'm not gonna eat it all because it is Petey's and it's not mine. So I'm just gonna take a little taste and I'm very scared, but I'm, I'm just gonna try it, YOLO. Oh, that tastes like very interesting. The, the icing is like really good, but the cookie itself tastes like dirt. It's very tough. It like hurts my throat when I swallow. <laughs> not a good, not a good choice for humans. I would say give this to your dogs.
they'll love it. They'll appreciate it. All right, so that's it for today's episode of Holler Nothing. Thank you, Haley, for inspiring this episode. And if you guys would like us to do a video on your shopping experience, just leave a comment below and let us know what it is. And I will talk to you guys next time. Okay.